Hello everyone, welcome to this channel. Today's tutorial we will see on how to find the maximum stress on filleted bar. Let me see the problem description here. Uh, find the maximum normal stress carried in this part. So we have uh, have given this dimension and the load is applied in uh, this direction uh, you can keep this as an uh, in caster or a fixed part and if this if this much pound 5000 pound force is applied towards the rate so where is the maximum stress on this part and uh, how much is it you will see First, the hand calculation. Let me show how how we calculate this. So the maximum stress is uh, the force applied over the surface area. Surface area, which the length times thickness. We ha we have this two inch, and the thickness is uh, zero point five inch. So the area at this, this uh, point is that is uh, zero point five times two. So stress is equals to uh, force over area and we can get this pound per uh, square inch. So how to calculate the maximum stress? Maximum stress is the normal stress times the Peterson's stress concentration factor is there. So we find stress maximum as equals to k times the normal stress so it's already calculated before that this one is uh, normal stress so what's k what's k here is uh, here is stress concentration factor graph is here so first calculate r over d that is r over d R is the fillet radius that is 0 0.1 here here it is 0 0.1 over uh, D small d that is uh, over 2 so we get 0 0.05 is a value 0 0.05 in between this 0 0.4 and 0 0.06 so capital D over D, that is, this is capital D, that's 3 inch, and here is a small uh, D. So 3 over 2, we'll get 1.5. 1.5 D over D. So the line is 1.5, here it is. So from uh, these two values, you find K from 0 0.5 and 1.5 so in order to find uh, that one we draw a straight line in between 0 0.4 and 0 0.6 that's 0 0.00 i mean 0 0.05 so here is uh, d over d uh, value so here here is a line so draw a horizontal line that's uh, approximately it's around 2.2 8 but it's uh, a little less than 2.8 so stress maximum is equals to k times normal stress that's 2.77 you can consider less than around 2.75 or uh, something like that it's up to you then stress maximum is equals to 13,850 pound per square inch so let's go back to the software result. Uh, here is the software result. Maximum stress is around the neck. Here it is. So let uh, let do the part. Great part. Let's make it ten approximate size.
draw roughly in this way then we give dimension so let's let's go to the here it is the dimension is three inch So fit here, then let one inch diameter. So one inch diameter that is radius is zero point five so this one two then let's divide by two from this center up to from this bottom line up to this one point three So from this line up to this we have two and this one four inch. They give dimension from this line up to this center. Divide this for that is make it two from this up to this we have two. So here, this dimension is that's two, and here is three, and the left is one. So here, from this line up to this is zero point five. So exit. Depth is zero point five. Thickness. So we have this. Then uh, go to this fillet. This one is chamfer, and this is fillet. Select the fillet. Then select this edge. Okay, and put zero point one. Apply the same for the other side. Select edge. 0 0.1 ok done the let property add one material property uh, doesn't related to a material property so you can add any material because there is no material property in our formula so can do this to under the e06 for example in position ratio is equal to 0.3 okay then create section solid homogeneous continue that's material and assign the material okay then go to assemble create as uh, instance then okay then go to step 
great step uh, and it must be at static general they click continue and use the default time period that is one second so go to load create mechanical symmetry and symmetry in caster then select this side select in caster that is constraint in all degree of freedom so go to apply load create so instead we mechanical and select pressure we apply the the, the load on uh, surface so click continue select this surface done and apply that is 5000 so you can change the direction that's in positive x direction so let's go to mesh create mesh uh, let's uh, make in part create mesh let's uh, choose this mesh type take and the free the default algorithm then assign global size uh, like uh, let's reduce to 0 0.011 and mesh yes so mesh we properly mesh then create job maximum stress can say and submit and wait for result okay the result is completed so go to result and see how the maximum stress is so here is the maximum stress around the fillet that is if you look uh, the place you can go here limit then show location location of maximum stress and minimum stress that means so as it is the maximum stress is around here around the fillet and here is uh, it's almost symmetrical and it's a good result so make it it uh, remove this and uh, here is the maximum stress so you can compare this result that is finite element result with the uh, hand calculation that is it go back to here that is 13,850 uh, that is approximately 14,000 and here is 14,900 that is uh, if you do this annotation go and go this view annotation and remove all let's check on the legend then can this select fix it so here is a finite element result so you can compare this analytical and numerical 
value. And if you want any other result like a displacement, you can see from this bar iq1 in x direction, y direction, and z direction. And the other is the reaction force there. Reaction forces here apply a force in this direction, and it is considered as fixed. So the reaction forces in different direction you can see it because this is today's video thank you for watching